Now my girlfriend rang the bell. I'm going to be right back. Oh! A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. Over on the second channel, we are close to being done with the first series on sets of numbers. So check that out. Okay, bilingual series over there. Almost done, only a few episodes left. So uh, first milestone on this channel and I think I'm getting better at managing um, those videos over there, both German and English. It's taking a while to get used to kind of presenting like this or some other kinds of topics. So yeah, um, I'm giving it my best. I hope I'm going to improve more over time. Today we would like to do some more application stuff. Last time I have talked about uh, kind of applications or special cases, so like the really interesting cases of this Pi 5 5 integral, all right, link will be in the description probably. And this time I would like to just take a look at some very nice cases of this, well, generalized sophomore stream that we all know and love, okay? This thing actually worked out to be this infinite series, few restrictions here and there, t could be anything, yeah, really doesn't matter what t is, and well, alpha must be greater or equal to zero. If it is zero, then everything still works out, exact, except if t is negative one, then I believe it doesn't work out then anymore with this with the natural log that we are going to get. I'm not certain about it. I need to calculate this through. Didn't even think about that before. But never mind, that's not the point of the video. This is not what I would like to cover. We are going to take a look at two cases that you are probably going to be familiar with, okay? And they reduce really nicely, okay? This was one of Ramanujan's um, highly sought after problems, okay? One of the solutions there. So, at first, we are going to choose um, let t be equal to um, 1, okay, and we want alpha to be equal to 1 also. This is going to evaluate to be the integral from 0 to 1. Oh, my integrals are so beautiful. Mm. So spicy, you look so good. Oh, my swan, oh, he looks like a swan, okay. Only the, oh, <laughs> only the wing is missing. That's the wing integral, okay. It's, it's an absolute wing. So that's going to be x to the x power dx. And you might be familiar with this thing. Okay, I have kind of covered it on this channel before. Um, it's kind of um, the same procedure. Okay, like with Sophomore Tree, one of my most watched videos on this channel. It's going to evaluate to the integral from zero to infinity. Oh, okay, it's an alternating series. Nothing is going to change here negative 1 to the kth power. 1 to the kth power is just 1. That's going to be a 1, so over 1 plus k to the 1 plus kth power. And do you know what the cool thing about the alternating series of those types are? You can truncate them extremely early, like after the second term, and you are so extremely close already to the real result. So what does this thing look like actually if you write it out? That's going to be okay, first term is going to be positive. Zero, it's going to be just one over one. The next up is going to be negative. Okay, this is, we plug one into here, two over two squared. Uh, one over two squared, I'm, to, I'm terribly sorry. Then the next one is going to be positive. One over three to the third power negative, blah, blah, blah. Up until infinity. This is what they actually look like. And like I said, you can cut the series off at this point already and you're going to be really close to the real result. The real result, I hope I'm not um, wrong on this one, should be something like 0 0.88 or is it 7.8? I can't remember. I believe it's 7.8. 2 squared is going to be 1 quarter. Yeah, it's going to be 7.8. 0 0.78. I hope I'm right on this one, it should be. It's really close to this one. L like I said, you can truncate it pretty early and you are going to be really close to the real result already. This is why I could remember those results a tiny little bit. That's really cool. I mean, it kind of looks like the Basel problem in some way, just with the exponent rising by one all the time. That's a really um, curious thing right here. And next up, so next uh, is another cool case. It's the integral, so from, 
zero to one, that's an ugly integral, that's not a good one, of x to the negative x power dx. T is negative one and alpha is equal to one yet again. We have covered this before. This thing is going to be the sum from one to infinity of k to the negative k power. And like I said, this is one of the problems that Ramanujan was after. We want to have an integral of f of x being equal to its sum of f of k in this case. So like continuous being equal to discrete. And yeah, this is pretty amazing. I mean, one of those special cases is like the sophomore stream with the sine x over x that you can express either as the sum over the sine of k over k or the integral of sine of x over x. That's one of the cases. And here it's kind of the case too, just with the upper and lower bounds on the sum and the integral being kind of different. But it's extremely beautiful. Ramanujan was looking for, the, for stuff like this, okay? He was um, after this. And this thing is basically um, just what we have here, but with the positives. So one over one, and then plus one over two squared, plus one over three squared, plus da da da. It also converges kind of fast to the real result if you truncate it kind of early, but you have to take few more of those uh, members into account. So, so you can cut it off at the third one. It's, it's going to be kind of far away still, like a few decimal places, but take a few more of those and then you are going to be pretty close. The result of this thing should be uh, something like uh, 1.29, something um, of this, uh, yeah, something of that sort. Now, next special case that I would like to cover is when t is equal to one and alpha is equal to negative one. Like I said before, alpha must be greater than zero. And I was trying around to actually get this working in some way, but up until this day, I cannot find the closed form solution to x to the one over x dx. That's when alpha is um, equal to negative one, okay? It would be pretty nice if this would have worked. Let's assume that it would work with this formula. We are going to get, in this case, the sum where k is greater or equal to zero of, okay, this is negative one to the kth power over one minus k to the one plus k. And I was hoping so hard that this was work that this would work, but just write it out a tiny little bit. Okay, zero of member is going to be one in this case, and then minus, well, one over, uh, one minus one is zero. Okay, one over zero, I'm going to put it like this, plus da da da. Sadly, for all those alphas that you can choose, for example, negative one half, blah, blah, blah. At some point, we are going to get a denominator that's going to explode to infinity. So making the whole thing go to infinity, let it diverge or negative infinity. And this is the sad thing. This closed form solution doesn't work for stuff like this. I was wondering though, if we could plug in alpha being equal to negative square root of two, for example, if something like this would work, I was wondering, because if you put in an irrational or transcendental number here, a negative one, there should be no way that over this index set that we could get a denominator of zero here. I'm not certain about it though. You could try to play around tiny a little bit, okay? And, and put some comments down below. I would be really interested in that. Now my girlfriend rang the bell. I'm going to be right back. Oh! So next up, all right? So, so this doesn't work sadly. It just is what it is. If you have any idea, leave some comments down below. I don't think that we can solve this thing in a closed form, except for defining yourself like an antiderivative. Okay, that satisfies this thing, like a special function, but that's not a point here. We want to find beautiful stuff like this. Next up are a few rudy things, okay? A few really rudiful integrals. Let us take a look at, for example, the case where t is equal to one half and our um, alpha is equal to one, okay? What is going to be? It's going to be the integral from zero to one of, okay, this is x to the one half power to the x power, meaning it's the square root of x to the x power integrated with respect to x. 
Well, let us plug everything in into our sum formula that we are having here. So t is one half, meaning it's one half to the kth power, negative one to the kth power over, well, just is what it is, one plus k to the one plus k. And once again, we can just go ahead and yeah, just um, write some terms out. It's an alternating thing, so it's going to converge really fast yet again, even if you truncate it, just like I said before. So first term is going to be on zero, this is just zero, uh, one, so um, zero in here, it's just going to be one. Next up is negative, it's going to be one half times, and down here one, so this is one over two squared. Okay, and next up is going to be just one half, and basically all the terms that we had before. And this is three to the third power actually, didn't notice that, goodness. So um, this is going to be plus one over two squared times one over three to the third power. Minus, blah, blah, blah. And now you can estimate it yet again. You can cut it off really quickly by putting your hand here. This is one minus one eighth. All right, so this is going to be one eighth. This is 0 0.125. So one minus 0 0.12 is going to give you roughly 0 0.88. And this is what the sum is actually going to make it to 0 0.887, blah, 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 something. All right, you can cut it off really fast yet again, really early and it's going to converge kinda to the same value, okay? except for some small arrow, tiny small arrow. Now, next up, it's going to be the case where we switch alpha and t. So for example, t being equal to one, alpha being equal to one half, leaving us with the integral from zero to one of x to the square root of x. Integrate with respect to x. That's going to be nothing but k being greater or equal to zero, of negative one to the kth power, one to the kth power is just one, over one plus k over two to the one plus kth power. What you can do at this point is bring those two fractions together, so one plus k over two, it's going to give us two plus k over two. You can bring the one half to the one plus kth power to the outside, taking the reciprocal, <laughs> leaving you with a sum where k is greater or equal to zero of negative one to the kth power, then two to the one plus kth power, over two plus k to the one plus kth power. Now you can write terms out yet again, one after another. This thing is going to vary to something. I'm leaving this as an exercise to the viewer to kind of estimate what the sum is going to be. Cut it off, truncate it pretty early, and it's going to be roughly what you are seeking. And the last case, which is in my opinion the most beautiful looking one, which is probably going to go on the thumbnail for the clickbait, is where t and alpha are both equal to one half. This overall gives you the integral from zero to one of square root of x to the square root of x, integrated with respect to x. Doesn't this look really spicy? This looks really spicy in my opinion. And now we can just combine what we have gathered here with what we have gathered here. Okay, I hope you can see what comes next, k being greater or equal to zero. It's going to be an alternating series, negative one to the kth power. Then we have two to the negative kth power from here. Okay, just plugging stuff in. Two to the negative kth power is going to cancel out with two to the kth power, giving you just a two at the front of the sum, it's independent of k, over two plus k to the one plus kth power. And now you can write out all the terms yet again. It's going to start off with um, a one half and so on. If you multiply it by two, you are going to get a one, blah, blah, blah. All those sums start off with one basically. And yeah, then you are going to cut it off at some point and then you have an approximate value. But this thing really has a solution, namely this one right here. And it's quite beautiful in my opinion. It's a nice closed form solution. It's a sexy ass sum. And I think as watching, if you did enjoy this chill video where Papa ran out of the room because um, waifu came in, then yeah, please like, subscribe, recommend channel if you like. Um, that's probably the last video of the application stuff. 
that I've done on this channel. I just want to show you some spicy integrals being a consequence of the generalizations that we have derived before. And yeah, other than that, new content soon. All right, hard exams, some competitive math problems, yada, yada, yada. And yeah, check out the shop, support channel on Patreon. Visit the other channel, okay? We are going waste there. And up until the next video, I'm wishing you guys a flammable day. Ciao! <laughs>